Delighted to be joined now uh, in his home in Inverness by Ernie Mickey. Ernie played for Scotland uh, in the 1950s and was part of the Scotland team that brought to an end a sequence of 17 defeats in a row, which incredibly Ernie was 60 years ago, 1955, against Wales. What, what do you remember of that season and the match against the Welsh? Well, it's it's difficult to sort of put it into concept at the time. Uh, you can remember in these days, we didn't have the same sort of media cover that we have nowadays. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly one was conscious of Scotland having lost for, for all these years. Uh, as far as I was concerned, uh, I was a, a very young lad. I, 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 was, uh, I was 19 when I got my first cap, and this was my second season. And it, 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 it was a funny season insofar as uh, I was injured at the start of it, and there had to be an extra trial. And the reason for that extra trial was because Scotland had been beaten so badly in Paris by France by 15 points uh, to nil and I think they scored four tries mm -hmm. and, and the try was only three points. So they decided first time ever to have another trial and luckily I was invited to this trial. So I, I, I was invited to, the, to join the Whites and which I did and then when the team came out, I was obviously lucky enough to be in the Scottish side. But but you only had, between the French game, Ernie, which you say Scotland lost 15-0, and yeah. then this this trial match, you only had a, one month until the Welsh match. And, OK, you practised a lot, but you didn't you didn't come together until, what, the day before the game? Well, we, we came together on the Thursday. Uh, Thursday afternoon, and we had our tea, and then I think we were lucky enough to go out somewhere. And it was the Friday afternoon was the only time we actually got together as a as, as a team, mm -hmm. and this was when we actually practiced it. Uh, and and every other time, every other uh, game after that, you know, we did that. But that was the only time before the Welsh game that we actually got got down to it. Back to the game then, Ernie mm -hmm. and. Um, as you said, Wales Wales started very well. Mm -hmm. Scotland then came into the game as as, as I've read, mm -hmm. and um, there was a brilliant try by Arthur Smith. Well, I can I can remember Arthur Smith's try. I mean, he, the, the Scottish back we we got the ball, it went out, and it, we were in our own half, uh, possibly about in the middle of our, of our own half, maybe just about ten yards in front of. Uh, between the, the, the 22 and, and the halfway line. When the ball went out, I think it went out through Adam Robson to, to Jimmy Green, to, uh, to Arthur Smith. And Arthur actually managed to get round his man and then he, Arthur, it didn't look as if he was going very fast, mm. but he, he, was, he, he was a beautiful runner, long strides, and he went round his man and he ran virtually the whole length of the field then, uh, and he, he kicked ahead just at the end because he thought he was going to be tackled. Mm. He regathered and, and uh, went over in the corner. You went on, Ernie, to win 15 caps for Scotland. Was there any moment that was the equal to the victory against the Welsh? Was there anything that surpassed it? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> as simple as that. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I, I had I had some wonderful games, you know, and and I played against some wonderful uh, teams, but I think gaining a Scottish cap was perhaps the the ultimate in my career. I I, I was lucky enough to play for the Barbarians and to play for the Lions and all that, but getting a Scottish cap was the ultimate.